It's been incredible, TV especially. Well, this year too in film. It's been amazing. I mean, I think that we had a, a couple of years of Oscar So White and people stood up and took notice and a lot of our stories are getting out there. I mean, there's, and there's so many, there's such a great range from Moonlight to Hidden Figures this year. But I think like television as well, you've got your empire, you've got power, you have scandal, you have blackish. I mean, it's it's really, and, and beyond just black story, we, my kids are huge fans of Fresh Off the Boat. I mean, it's nice to see just inclusivity. I don't want to call it diversity anymore, inclusivity. I like a world that has all of us because that's that's kind of been my life and my experience and I'd like it to see it reflected in, in the media. Absolutely. Now right now in the country political climate is crazy. Yes. It's quite <laughs> so crazy. Are you um, aware about the, the group of 12 black people that met with Donald Trump yesterday? Were they at the lunch when he <laughs> referred to Frederick Douglass as doing well and <laughs> making moves? Yes, I'm aware, aware. I don't know who was there besides Omarosa. Um, but I did read the transcript. Yeah, yeah. So what were your thoughts on that? And how do you feel about them representing our community? You know, I don't know who's there. I don't know who's there. So I can't even speak to who was there representing us. I think it's um I think it's great to get in the room and if they can make a change, wonderful. But I don't know who they are speaking for me, so I I, I can't really talk to that knowledgeably. Um I yeah, the Trump issue is, is, is a tricky one. It's a tricky one. And I think that, I think it would be wise for him to take on, if he's going to take on issues in the black community, as he says, I think it would be wise for him to realize that we're not all in crime-ridden neighborhoods. We're not all in the ghetto. We're not all living these lives with bad schools and high crime and drugs. We're not all in prison. There are a lot of us out here thriving and living in suburbia or middle America or rural America. Um, we are not a monolith. There are, oh, what? I don't know what percent. We're 11, I don't know the millions of black people in America, but we have that many different stories and we're living that many different lifestyles. And to group us together as one little thing is really, Upsetting. Thank you for sharing that. Now, this is Vicky Shades Darker, of course, and I know yes. you do a lot about self care as well as politics. I do. So, when it comes to the bedroom. You know, the thing is, I should have prepared for this. This is the second. I don't think I've ever used anything like this in the bedroom. <laughs> well, what's your advice to keep it spicy in the bedroom? Um, I. Uh, don't be shy, girl. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of like, I'm a, I'm a cerebral person, so I need like a good story. So I can't just, I, I, it's got to be, there's got to be a back, we've got to create a whole mood and a story. And I'm also good with location. So it's taking it out of the bedroom, hotel, outside, the car, the woods, wherever you don't usually engage in things like this.